for stopping in tonight. Topping our newscast tonight, it is the end of an era in law enforcement. An iconic part of modern policing is going by the wayside here in Bakersfield, as it has in many agencies across North America. Here with an obituary of sorts for the BPD's last surviving black and white Ford Crown Victoria is 17's Robert Price. When veterans retire from the Bakersfield Police Department, there's usually some sort of celebration, a, a cake, balloons, something. But when this old veteran, the Crown Victoria, the last one, retires from BPD, it may just go quietly into the night. And that would be a shame, considering the respect it once commanded on the nation's streets and highways. But then, when the Ford Crown Victoria made its debut 37 years ago, America was a different place. Gas efficiency mattered, just not as much as it does today. Tailpipe emissions mattered, but the term climate change hadn't been coined. The Crown Vic delivered stability, reliability, and power, which made it a good choice not just for the public at large, but for law enforcement agencies as well. These are the Ford police vehicles. Enter, in 1992, the Crown Victoria Interceptor, a specially equipped police cruiser with a modified transmission, 0 to 60 acceleration in 5.6 seconds, and with a V8 249 horsepower engine, a theoretical top-end speed of 147 miles per hour. It was soon the model of choice for police agencies across the U.S. and Canada, including the Bakersfield Police Department, which went all in on the Crown Vic. Now the car's day has come. Ford announced it would stop making the Crown Vic in 2011. Some cities decided to stock up while they could. That year, the Austin, Texas Police Department asked for $4.5 million to buy 176 of the iconic patrol cars. Now those cars, 10 years old and older, are fading. Last September, the California Highway Patrol retired its last two rear-wheel drive Crown Vicks, completing its transition to all-wheel drive Ford Tauruses and Explorers. And any day now, the Bakersfield Police Department will retire its last black and white Crown Vic. BPD Sergeant Brian Sandrini said the new Tauruses and Explorers have undeniable advantages, but he'll miss the Crown Vic. It's a great car. Um, everybody at the Bakersfield Police Department currently, from the chief down, has driven a car like that during their training. Um, I'm a driving instructor, and we taught all the new hires, all the new police officers, how to drive this car. Now, the difference between this car and our cars we're driving now is this is rear-wheel drive only. So it drives a lot different, handles a lot different than our current cars, which are all-wheel drive. Um, ultimately, we'd still be driving this car if Ford kept making it. It's a great car. Um, it's, uh, it's lasted through time, uh, tested time, and, and it's, been a, uh, it's been a good car. The BPD could cut loose its last Crown Vic any day now, but that doesn't mean we'll never see them again. Aged out Crown Vics are typically stripped of agency decals, overhead emergency lights, and computer equipment, sold in government auctions, and driven by private citizens, including sometimes as taxis. So we haven't seen the last of them on the road, just the last of them racing to emergency calls, lights flashing, sirens wailing. <laughs> Get ready to say goodbye to the last esteemed Crown Victoria in an honored fleet of cars. In Bakersfield, Robert Price, 17 News. Now that may be the last Crown Victoria interceptor in the Bakersfield Police Department's active fleet, but it bears noting that the Kern County Sheriff's Department still has a few of these iconic patrol cars, six at last check. Well, she may not have ever driven a Crown but she's worn one before. <laughs> Here's the list in the Pink Point Weather Center. Oh, I love that transition. I wasn't Deb. sure where you were going with that. <laughs> thank you, thank you. But yeah, yes. Uh, uh, temperatures continuing.